it said that we taste with our eyes first. And I totally agree. And today, I have prepared for you a feast. Let's do this. Hi, welcome to Whiskey Riffs. I'm Kevin, and today I have a wonderful whiskey for you. It's not only delicious, but the presentation, the whole experience is just beautiful. And it's a Glenmorangie Signet. Now, before we dive into what's in the bottle, let's just take a look at how this thing is presented. I mean, right from the start, it's a beautiful container. It's very heavy. Now it has whiskey in here, but the box itself is significant. The signet on the front, it's beautiful. Let's see if we can get some sparkle in there. There we go, yeah. And when you pop this open, a little magnetic seal to it, you get this beautiful uh, information panel and the whiskey nestled lovingly in foam. It's not going anywhere real easily. And the bottle itself is beautiful too. Look at that thing. It's gorgeous. Look at the colors. That was great. I love the color of this, this bottle and the way it shows off the, the amber color of the whiskey. The shape is classic uh, Glenmorangie, but the signet on it is prominent, since that's the name. And everything is expensive feeling. Now, there are plenty of whiskeys that are more expensive than this, uh, but this one is about 200 to $250 in the US. I've seen it uh, for less over in the UK. Uh, here, that's about the price range, but it really feels worth it. Um, the, the, the flavors are complex and the bottle itself kind of tells you that right when you pick it up. You, you feel the, the top and it's, it's a metal top. Even this cork, it's in the cork. It's really nice cork. This in itself, is like uh, 3.6 ounces. It's a metal top on it and uh, about 102 grams. It's just substantial. Uh, my wife grabbed it and said, okay, well, we're keeping this one. This is, this is a really nice top. And she said, I just, I'm enjoying the top without even getting to the whiskey. But overall, the presentation is just impressive. They've done a fantastic job.
The Signet is uh, one of Glenn Morgie's uh, special editions. It is the culmination of many years of experimentation and um, selection. It has uh, two different malts in here. One's a, a high roast chocolate malt, and the other one is their signature malt that they use in other whiskeys. It's a non-age statement whiskey. It has a blend of some of their very oldest uh, to some of their more new um, whiskeys. And they even did something special with the casking. It's done with three different casks. One is a bourbon cask. The other one is a sherry butt. And the third is a custom uh, cask that they had made from American white oak. So everything about this is bespoke. It's very unique. It is very classy and uh, I love that it's uh, non-chill filtered. The colors are very natural and everything just drips with this is impressive right from the start. Your eyes are feasting immediately on what's possible with a with a whiskey that has had so much care and so much time put into the production of it. William Matheson founded the Glen Morangi Distillery in 1843. Uh, they have a long history of making wonderful Highland Scotch whiskeys. This one is bottled at 46% ABV or 92 proof. I've been a big fan of Glen Morangi for years. I found their Quinto Rubin expression many years ago. It's a port cast finish. It's a whiskey that I'll definitely review uh, in one of my future videos, but it right away hooked me as, wow, this is, this is just one of my favorite whiskeys. And when I saw that they had this signet and I started seeing the reviews on it, I felt like, wow, I, I really need to try that. But at the time, I think the prices in the U S were up over $275 a bottle. And I just, it's so hard to grab an unknown like that, especially when I was into the smoky peaty whiskeys, and this was supposed to be uh, a very high-end Highland Scotch. I said, "Well, gee, how much? How much can you get out of a Highland Scotch? Uh, is it worth two hundred and seventy-five dollars?" Well, luckily, uh, recently the prices have been coming down. There's, it's more available around me. Uh, I think I saw it for as low as $210. Uh, I've got mine for about that same price. It can be as high as around $250. I love also that they took the time to give you a lot of good information. It's not just uh, marketing speak on the box. There is information about uh, how they matured it in the, in the multiple types of casks. It gives you some tasting notes. Um, and even down to the, the color, the nose, the taste, and the finish on the inside. So a lot of information right here at your fingertips. So as you're trying this, you get a little bit of hints. Try to look for this. Try to look for that. And I definitely appreciate that. In fact, I appreciate it so much. Let's go ahead and dig in. We've done enough of the visual feasting. Let's get into the actual feasting. Now this is a Highland Scotch, so you're going to get some of those typical notes from a Highland Scotch. It's very sweet on the nose. This is dessert sweet. It's tiramisu, it's butterscotch. Um, oh, I don't know, it, it feels, I don't wanna say nose feel. <laughs> But there is a, a certain richness to this. Uh, if, you've, if you've been at a restaurant and you get a, a chocolate dessert served to you, that, that original, that, the initial aroma that you get kind of settles in for me. There's a little bit of espresso in there. And the sherry is part of the sweetness that you get. on the taste. You get that desserty, sweet, sherry, 
some plum. It tastes like it's oily and rich. Uh, has a lot of depth to it. As I'm letting it sit, I, I get more dark chocolate on the finish. A little bit of raisins, like chocolate covered raisins with dark chocolate. I've got that sweetness still from the sherry. And there's also this, there's a blend of um, like spiciness uh, on the taste that is a little bit on the finish as well. Wow, there is so much going on. I'm getting a lot more chocolate uh, right now. It's just, it's just swarming. In my mouth, there's, there's uh, the oils and the flavors are just very rich. This, this feels decadent. This tastes decadent. This is just a, a well done whiskey. The, the choice of malts the choice of caskings, the time it took to blend the signet is, is just so well done. I, at first, was a little hesitant to jump and buy it. And now that I have a bottle, I've spent more than $200 on other whiskeys that have not been this much of an experience. They're certainly delicious, but as I'm just sitting here with these tastes in my mouth, I can still run through so many of them, so many of the, the sweetness points and the and a little bit of spice and that, that richness that just, after you've sat through dinner and you've had your dessert and now you're just like enjoying that whole experience, it feels like that. It feels like I've had a lovely dinner that I've enjoyed a wonderful creamy rich dessert and I'm just happy <laughs> this is a great experience I if you like um, I won't say desserty because it's not that kind of overly sweet I don't get that I think they've cut the sweetness with a little bit of the spiciness and the um, kind of the richness, so it's not fragrantly sweet. It's it's espresso uh, with dark chocolate, with creaminess and uh, plums and raisins, and um, it's just a it's just a wonderful, well, full rounded whiskey experience. I have my happy place for this quarantine. I found it. It's, it's right in this glass. And I'm very happy that I bought this. I, I highly recommend it if you're into Highland Scotches, if you don't mind paying a little bit more for uh, that, that rich experience. Signet is well done and well worth it. I hope you're staying safe. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I certainly have uh, something to take care of me for at least tonight. I'm going to enjoy this. And until our next video, cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.